everyone. Welcome to Conversations with Steelers. And in Conversations with Steelers, in association with freebirds.co, we bring you some of the best people on earth. You know why? I, I always say best people on earth because these people are experts in their domain. They have done extraordinary work in their sphere of, uh, in, their, in their life. And the best part is that I'm a big show off. I love to show off my friends. Today, I bring to you a fantastic human being, a magician extraordinaire and a director entrepreneur. And now you don't see him and now you will. That's the magic I create. That's Rohan Kumar Das. A very warm welcome to you. Wow. Oh, hi, Tina. So good to see you. <laughs> now, before we begin, let me quickly tell you, you're looking lovely, by the way. You've been using oh, the you. lockdown time really well. Thank yeah, you. you're looking lovely. Like, no, can, can I wave you like I've lost, lost in the island? Yes, you're lost in the island. Yeah, we did the lost in the island thing. I'm seeing you after like a year or so, I think. Are we talking after oh, a no, year no, no, or no, so? More than a year. More than, more than year. that? Okay. So more you see that. what happened to me, right? I've lost track of time. Now that's what happened. I, I'm <laughs> lost. So you lost track in time. I'm lost completely. So uh, that's why I'm saving, yeah. saving my soul. Yeah. Save my soul. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. So no problem. So, so, so let's carry on. Rohan, such a pleasant uh, feeling that you are here on my show, Conversations with Tita. And uh, like I was telling the viewers, they are online, your friends are there. It's and something I to look forward to. The best the people, I always bring in the best people to show off. I'm a big show off, you know that. You know, And I love showing off the bestest people on yeah. earth that I know of. Out of all in a good way. People, You're like show off in a good way. Yeah. Uh, out of all those 1.3 yeah. billion people in India, I at least know 1 billion great people and you're one of them. You know, so oh, you are, that's so sweet. <laughs> yeah. Full compliment. Okay, okay. Now we are doing all like compliment each other. So that's cool. Let's start now. <laughs> Let's we have start. done the, yeah. we've done I, the, I think, uh, the I opening, think opening the, the audience is like, okay, when do we start this entire show? These oh, are these guys. Yes. <laughs> yeah. They'll get the catching up and all. You should have done that before the interview. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So let's start. Let's start. Yeah. Good. It's so nice to see you. And so uh, let me let me introduce you to oh. the viewers, uh, to our friends here. And uh, it simple, uh, huh? don't like badao chadao at all. No, I'm no, not no, that no. a good uh, human being at all. Like <laughs> you, you are a toxic person. You're very meticulous. Let me tell you uh, even before oh, I start. I am, yeah. You're yeah. a very meticulous <laughs> person. You're meticulous <laughs> to a T. And uh, oh, you oh. you have done some extraordinary work. And so that is why you're here. Oh. And I would like to. Tell young people that you know you Go are ahead. a role model. I, be, I my guest. <laughs> be my guest. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, uh -huh. this, this is this is something that I love to read out. Rohan Kumar Das is a passionate movie maker. I love this. True. Passionate. True. Yeah, passionate that's maker. that's my life. Yeah, that's my life. For, my people son, who are us, yeah. for people who are watching us outside, we are from Guwahati, Assam, and he stays here, he's been here all his life. And he's been making movies since 2015 and staging plays since 2012. And I yeah. had the honor and the privilege of working with Rohan Kumar Das in one of his plays. And I happened to be working with Murder Game. I think it was Murder Game. And Murder yes, Game was, yeah. was one of my so favorites, cool. by the way. One of and, my favorites. Yeah, it was one of my yeah. favorites. Plays, yeah. and, and what I want to tell the audience is that Rohan Kumar Das is a person who, why I said meticulous to a T is because he means business. When he, when he wanted to do the play and he actually chose my character so perfectly and I enjoyed doing that character so much that um, mm. I was into the play. I was totally into the mm. play. And uh, I really thank him because those memories keep coming back and Facebook kind of, you know, always uh, brings those memories yeah, back. The, 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 yeah, the photographs and all do pop up once in a while. And yeah, yeah. I must say that I remember that it was a role which was there in the first half of the play, but you are so dedicated, right? That that's the pleasure to work with people who don't consider the length of the role to be important. It's the it's the seriousness that you have to give to it, and that you have, right? And whatever you do in your life, there's this seriousness, and the, I love the way you are. You're dedicated to even this interview, the way you prepared for it, and you know the way you just go about doing your things. The preparation is beautiful and. There's one thing I learned. I have to give credit to Sindhu Auntie, who I started off uh, doing. This was in 2012. That was the first time I acted in uh, one of her plays, which was called Plot for Murder. And in that, uh, while I was, uh, you know, I, I never acted in all that. It's just something that happened. Ranjiv Lal Barua got me into it. Minus, thank you. <laughs> and from there, 
I learned the importance of preparation, which I value really uh, a lot right now. For me, preparation is the key to success, to be honest. Yeah. Wow. So wow. That's something I picked up from Sintu Aunty. Thank you, Sintu Aunty. Yes, yeah. she's watching. So she's watching. Watching. thank you so much for giving us yeah. this wonderful human because I'm talking to him and it's for that reason, <laughs> pre pre preparing. And so he was very totally prepared. He has been calling oh, me. No, 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 not for this. For, for, yeah, for this, uh, for this interview, I must say, I, I'm leaving it to you. I'm, I'm unprepared. I'm totally unprepared. But I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. You don't have to be prepared. You're already the natural you. So we're just no, getting things true. out of whenever, you. Whenever you see the natural me, there's a whole bunch of preparation behind it. I just try and pretend. I'm a big pretender, to be honest. So, so <laughs> but there's a lot of you. You're at the top. You're the top when it comes to acting skills. Acting skills are the, are the, you're at the top. Right? <laughs> pretending. Pretending. I'll call it pretending. Pretending, no acting. And I call, I it pretend. acting. I call it acting. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But I, I am I'm a director. I prefer directing any day. Acting for me is like too much of pressure. Man, look good, don't sweat, make up. Oh. So I prefer okay, my Rohan, directing. Yeah. I, I yeah. happen to read I happen to read a bit of you, a lot of you in fact, in G Plus. Okay. And then uh, I came to know that you you were in uh, Don Bosco school and then you went yes. to Bangalore, yes. you came back. Yes. And yeah. then one day you had a conversation with your father and he yeah. asked you, and he asked yeah. you, what do yeah. you want to do after yeah. this, after your graduation? Yeah. And he said, so this was right after my graduation. And, 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 you, huh? know, and huh? you said you want to be a movie maker. You wanted to be yes. a film. Yes, yes. yes. And, uh, he was very surprised. He was like, yes. he was saying, what, what, why are you supposed to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I think I can say this on nowadays on the internet it's allowed. So that time I this is uh, I'm talking twenty some odd years back more than that. So that time I used to smoke a lot of weed. Yeah. So my dad had lost all all his hope on me and he said, oh, "What your what movie are you going to do? Like you're going to staple packets uh, with the ticket and sell or nobody's going to produce? Yeah, full like Badia man you're saying I'm not going to produce a film. Who's going to produce a film? I don't know. That time I'm like 20 years old. This is 19, 2000, whatever. I forgot. And then I was worried. And he made sense. He's like, see, you don't know anything about film. Forget all that. Come to business. So I thought, okay, forget. Films and I'll forget. Then 20 years later or something like that, 2015, there was a little crisis in our business, which is, of course, still there. However, he asked me. So this is 20 years back. He asked me, what do you want to do? I said, filmmaker. He says, forget. No point. So 20 years later, when he asked me, he asked my brother also. Like, what do you want to do? So my brother was very focused on business and construction, you know. So he asked me also, what do you want to do? I said, I want to make films. So this time after 20 odd years, when I'm 35 years old, he says, okay, better do it now. I'm like, yeah, okay. So I got started. That's how it started. Of course, wow. of course I'm off weed. My focus is in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's when, that's your timeline. That's when it started. 2015, yes. right? 15, right? sort of, yeah. But 12 is more or less when I got initiated into entertainment business through the uh, thing of the play, where I got uh, to be a part of the play, and that got me hooked in. Of course, I've been doing magic for years, so I've been on stage, but magic's more my hobby. I, I do it just for my pleasure. It's not something that uh, I want to do, like I look forward to uh, doing as a profession, because, you know, it's, it's more for my own uh, head, uh, my, my head stimulation. However, uh, the film thing, I have always wanted to make movies. And then 2015, and it was again Maina Ranjiv Lal Barua who gave me the courage, who said, I had this silly idea about uh, quitting alcohol for like a week, <laughs> because I had to have some dental thing. So, and then I made this weird story, and then Maina said, it's nice, man, make a short film. So he keeps encouraging me, and then I made one. In fact, uh, we are recently, after that, we took a break, and of course, I was doing my own work. Recently, we've come up with a new project, which is Crack in the Mirror with uh, Ranjiv Lal Barua producing it as well as acting in it. And that's the new project that's going on, which is going to get released very soon and the trailers are out and it's going to do the festival circuit now. So it takes wow. a circle, yeah, five years and we have come back to the you know, fresh start. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was just uh, a little while ago, I was asking you something, you know, I was telling you about my character in Murder Game. I'm going back yes. from movies, I'm Murder Game, yeah. to and fro because you're so talented, you know, whether I should be talking about the, you know, your your work as a as a dramatist or should I be work, uh, talking to you as a filmmaker? I'm just a little confused, a you know, so theater, I, I, theater, I, 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 theater, yes, mm -hmm. of course. So, so oh. I, I wanted to ask you one thing that you know when you choose a character because all your plays that i have watched and that i've read yeah. about 
and yeah. uh, that you have uh, put forth for the audience you know it kind yes. of uh, you know it it, it still ha- i still have warm memories of each and every scene each and every little dialogue that i said and you know why has it happened is because you chose me for that character and is it okay. always that uh, rohan kumar das always chooses his character um uh, like like say suppose you have chosen me for mm. murder game was it that yeah. you chose yes, for my that character for that particular character because all your other characters i can remember oh, just, could you just could you could just see the last portion again your voice broke could you just see the last portion again i couldn't yeah. hear you I, I i i was meaning to say that all the yeah. characters that you put in for yeah. each and every play or a movie right. they yeah. fit into the role you know and uh, that's so important is it, yeah. is it a kind of a research that you do uh, well it's an instinctive thing i have to see this so what i do is every time i look for a character if i don't find the character i don't go ahead with the project till till that person comes across i mean if i till i don't come across that person because i really have a particular idea of course i'm flexible with it it's not like i'm hell bent on oh this is the kind of person i'm looking for but there is an instinctive thing i get and most of the times i'm working on my instinct i'm not a very business plan sort of a guy though i know my economics pretty well i know my business but uh, from when it comes to uh, characters and storytelling and all that i'm born instinctive and yeah i i literally uh, get both my gut feeling when it comes to casting and casting is the biggest challenge if you get that right you tend to get your products right you you tend to get your movies or your stories right because the actors actually are your mouthpiece right they are going to enact it so it's important to get them right Mm-hmm. so very interesting so uh, even for your stories even for your even for your stories i yeah. mean, you seem to be laughing is it is in your son son ah it's okay kona carry on so you're so, saying about yeah. the stories yeah yeah you i was start telling you about your stories you uh, yes. you choose your character it it's it by instinct you said and yes. then your stories you're a marvelous storyteller as far as i know you you have been a marvelous marvelous storyteller and uh, i don't know how do you choose your stories does it uh, like you know ah, uh, so do you actually, let, do you actually look at the audience and you say okay the audience is going to like this or is it that you know by instinct you work just like you work with your characters uh no the, so when it comes to the story it's not that instinctive it's more calculated and i'll tell you how i go about it so for me the first thing i look for is what attracts me to the story and then i start looking from the audience's point of view because i might gravitate to something which is really complicated and layered and structured and then i might just uh, thin it down according to what i need to tell so that's one thing of course i always because there is money involved especially in movies right so you can't get it to a point that it becomes overtly convoluted right so that and or complicated so i try and steer clear from that as much as i can but it's still i must say that my movies too tend to get a little bit complicated but i don't that much you've got to give it i mean you have to give the audience the benefit of the doubt because they are intelligent so that much i do give them as for stories i look for two things which are very important one is the suspense that grips you in a story whether you tell a love story or a murder mystery or a gangster flick there has to be a suspense factor with something that holds you throughout so that you want to know what happens till the end and the other thing very important for me is humor even if it's a dash of it that's very important so these are the two things i do look for meaning metaphor and message and all okay well if it comes it comes but for me humor and suspense is very important so more so, or less so when i choose my yeah so these are the genres you like in a, in a film no no no, no. A- so when it comes to genres uh, i'll tell you the genres that i don't like because when i like i like a lot of genres but the genres that i'm not particularly fond of are perhaps the depressing human dramas that's something i keep away from because i don't really enjoy watching them or i'd like to make them no but i do enjoy murder mysteries a lot thrillers and satires i love satires where a black comedy gets me going any day so that's and uh, yeah and if it's a love story for example I am fascinated with love stories but as long as it's not the like a silly rom-com I mean there's nothing wrong with silly rom-coms but it's not my cup of tea I prefer a bridges over madison county was it over madison county or under madison no, bridges over madison county I can't remember Clint Eastwood and Meryl Streep brilliant film so those are the kind of love stories I like but uh, if you ask me genre wise yeah I I am open I I love all sort of films right 
because I like a, a Ingmar Bergman, I like a Hitchcock, I like a Martin Scorsese, I like a Stanley Kubrick. These are all different poles, but it's just the kind of cinema that I like. But what I don't like is very slow, painstakingly uh, slow, boring films. <laughs> yeah, but of course, there is a market for that. There's a market for that. So nothing, no harm in that. Yeah. All right. There, there are a certain category of people who would love to watch these slow. Yeah, movies. I mean, it does trickle to a certain <laughs> demographic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah just I mean, just like all, I have a lot of horror, you know. So the, the other day when I was telling you, let's do a horror, you know, a play of a, 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 like in <laughs> yeah. the pandemic. Yeah, so yeah, let's yeah. Do horror and all. Yeah, yeah. We'll always work. We'll always work. Yeah. Fear. So, it's yes, always the same. Scare your audience. <laughs> Fear always works. Yeah. And the best thing about you is the best yeah. thing about you is when I talk to you about this plan, you yeah. you are a positive person. You are not like oh no. we can't do it, Tina. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, You're you like try. no. I think we can talk about it. You know that's what yeah, yeah, I like. Yeah. Yeah, we, we can, you always got to give it a shot. And, and, yes. and then if you fail, well, you at least tried. That's something I remember in Hard Talk, Lord Swaraj Paul said to Tim Sebastian, whoever, uh, not Tim Sebastian, I can't remember who the interview was. And he said, you'll never know until you try. That word stayed in my head. That whole sentence stayed in my head. You have to try it. at least once. You try it, whatever it is. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind as well. I'll keep yeah, that just, in mind just, well. just say no to drugs. <laughs> Don't try that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Say or no. Do the rest. Do the rest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What you say? What you say? So, so you know what, uh, yeah. uh, Rohan, you have been you have been doing a lot of work. I've seen that in 2015 you made Alcoholics yeah. Anonymous. That was my first uh, film. Yeah. Mera in 2017, yeah. and Hole in One in 2018. Yes. Then you made an AV for Femina Miss India Assam 2018. For yes. Sunaina Kamath, yeah. For Sunaina Kamath, that is in 2018. The H yes. note. That is a that yes. is a film. So that's in 2019. No, that's an awareness video. That was okay. an awareness video which was made for uh, an uh, uh, an organization for which was produced by Ruby Visions as as a social message thing. And it was I think made for uh, I can't remember the NGO's name, but uh, for young Indians basically. It was a YI initiative, and uh, Ruby Visions, uh, which was Pallavi Chunki Barua, was the producer for that. And that was oh. an awareness video, yeah. So that was All a right. half minute awareness video. About then child abuse. Yeah. Duam, what is Duam about? So Duam is, is, is a psychological thriller which was oh. based on this recurring nightmare I used to have. Okay. Yeah, so when I used to, you know, in those days when I used to be drunk and stoned all the time, I used to get this nightmare where I'd wake up in my own dream. So it'd be a dream within a dream. It's a little scary, but it's, yeah, so I, that dream stayed in my head. And I okay. sort of recreated it with the help of my friend Pratyush and Lian who did the sound design. And I sort of shot it with my... So before we made Hole in One, which was my uh, phone film, which was the first thing or the second film I had made with Pony Films. There's a project I did called Pony Films Project, which was making films with phones. So I made three of them, out of which Password, which is the re recent one with uh, 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 Ruby Visions producing it again. Thank you, Jumke. And uh, so that was uh, the third initiator, the, tri the trilogy, the ending of uh, my Pony films. So Duam was the first one, where basically I shot uh, this friend of mine in one apartment, which was all inside one building. And it's a psychological thriller about your recording. It's about, it's about dreams that scare you and feel real. So Duam, by definition, is the, the moment before you wake up. It's that, it's that surreal moment before you wake up. That's called Duam. So oh, that, it's that. Oh, yeah. that's, a, that's a nice word I learned today. So that's yeah. a yeah. that's an it's English a Scottish word. word. <laughs> it's a Scottish, Scottish word. word. Yeah. Ah. Scottish German oh. sounds like that. Scottish word. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, wow. I just picked it up from the dictionary. I went for nightmares and the dwarf came up. I'm like, darn dwarf. <laughs> yeah, I'm very lazy. Lovely, lovely. So, <laughs> so, uh, and recently you have been doing a project. In 2020, you have not stopped. I mean, COVID has not been able to stop you. In fact, you. 2020 <laughs> has been my busiest. Uh, during the lockdown, I have been the busiest. I, this is amazing because before lockdown and all, people are busy going to office. I'm like, uh, look, sitting at my home, right? and all that editing but during the lockdown everyone's home complaining about no work i had the most amount of work during the lockdown so uh, there are two things which are coming up which is password which is in uh, almost uh, it's already doing the rounds of the festival and it won some awards as well recently in the tagore festival festival so that's the okay. recent one and post production over Back in the mirror, which, uh, if you show the yeah, trailer, I think, of I think Reed Jyoti can Reed Jyoti can show those uh, trailers from uh, YouTube. That, that is uh, fantastic. Yeah. yeah. 
so we can do that later or right now we can we can do it right away because since we are talking about your new film your, your internet connection is showing unstable or is it mine i don't know wait hang on okay can you hear me hello yes yes i can i can hear you absolutely can you okay okay but you are frozen you you frozen and the thing is going on no the the So we are back again with Rohan Kumar Das, and uh, before we went, we had this big break. We were looking at some of his videos on YouTube. So I was requesting all the viewers while you were gone, Rohan. I was saying that please subscribe to your channel, and the, your channel's name is—is is it by your name? Your YouTube uh, channel is it by your uh, name? Oh yes, but yeah, it's it's. But if you type Rohan Das, there'll be a lot of Rohan Das that will pop up. So I think I've given you the link. You can just put it in the share. post. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, and yeah, if you feel like subscribing, no problem. Yes. I don't make money from YouTube, so it's okay. Someday when I make movies, come and watch it on wherever it is. But but yeah. but, people, so. but people need to see your stuff, and they need to see yes. the kind of things you're making. At least the young. So you have to give the link. Yes, yeah. we have. Yeah. To give it. But so give my the link. idea is that all these conversations that we have, I usually want young people to know that there are these extraordinary humans in our lives who make the most of uh, whatever situation the, they are in the only like, the oldies who are still at it no <laughs> that's we it. Are, we are not the only one whatever say that i take it yet. i take it back i take it back i take it back <laughs> don't let out the I secret No, 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 no. I okay. Completely so, think about it. so there were a couple of questions just because you were coming yeah. in, and there are a lot of questions from young people that we have, and I'd like to read oh. a couple of them out to you. Please do. Yeah. Um. Yeah. One of the questions is, according to you, what are the elements necessary to make a good film? Ah, uh, there are a lot. but what i would say the one thing that i really believe in and it's a one word thing it's preparation you just have to really prepare a lot whether mm. it's a script whether it's your shoot whether it's your post production whether it's a distribution and and this is something that i really believe in that before you make a film because most of us just get you know excited when we write something or we get something that we read and we want to go make it it's important to think what you're going to do with it we really never think about our distribution plan so preparation on all levels which is uh, development pre production production post production and distribution all these five stages you really got to prepare and the more you think in fact there's this lovely saying which i love which is one hour of preparation will sh- uh, save uh, four hours of your pr- production time which i love at least because that's uh, cost effective yeah i'm a big businessman <laughs> but me i am <laughs> yeah <laughs> So, so, uh, so for you, when you this is this is one question that I have. So you pick up a story, and that story, how mm. how do you kind of develop yes. it? You know, how do you develop it into a script? I think young people would like to know that you uh, you oh, got a story. Uh, okay, this well, is the book. Uh, I'll tell you honestly. Mm, yeah. Well, uh, there's this uh, beautiful thing which uh, occurred to me when I was starting off, which is first you emulate or you imitate. and then you'll create so i started off by imitating i picked up stories from jeffrey archer i picked up stories from i can't remember uh yeah mostly jeffrey archer because i don't read too much i'm not a big reader you know but i read jeffrey archer and i liked the stories and i picked up his short stories and i sort of developed it and i rewrote the whole i read, wrote it in a script format and i started making those films as you keep doing that as you keep writing you start learning so password is my first original script that i've written and then came uh, crack in the mirror these are the two original project projects which are on uh, the release mode right now because they are completely our own not my alone because i can't write that well i am collaborating with other people which is harsh siddhant ankur sidas the people who i collaborate with 
and they help me write. Somebody, I'm more or less pretty good in my structure. I tend to structure a story. So that's what I do. But I learned it from Jeffrey Archer and reading a lot of scripts, which are all available online. So just go to freescripts.com and read a whole bunch of scripts. You'll learn how to write scripts. That's it. Wow. Okay. And how long does this take, you know, yes. How how long does this take for you guys to get from a book to a script and then, you know, kind of do the whole thing? Uh, There's never a specific time frame. So I'll tell you about Hole in One, which was uh, when uh, in 2018, the movie or 19, when I released that idea came to me when I was in college in my second year BCom and I was in my terrace sitting with my uh, roommate that time who was Onkur. And we were both, I had just read Jeffrey Archer's Quiver Full of Arrows. And there's the story I read and I said, this is going to make a fantastic film. I didn't even know what a short film was. I just said, this will make a good story or a film. And that stayed in my mind. So that was in 1998, I suppose. And then finally in 2018, it got made. So which is what, 20 years? Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. But so I'm saying take 20 years, but sometimes, yeah, sometimes it stays. And the ideas that stay with you, are the ones which are good enough. I believe in that. The ones which disappear, are they're just never meant to be. The ones which stay and then you get this urge that you have to make it are the ones that are good enough. Yeah, And it's just your call. I mean, somebody else may not find it good enough. I showed the script to a lot of people. They didn't really pay too much of regard to it. I thought it was a good script and I made it and it worked. And then after that, I've been getting work and support. Okay, okay. So there's this other question, yeah. Rohan, which uh, a young... Yeah. Turk has sent me says which genre no, films young Turk, are appreciated? Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> young, uh, sorry, is it which Turkish? Genre film? <laughs> no, no. Sessions, any kind of drama session, any kind of script. Uh, no, but, but your voice is breaking up big time. Uh, oh, hello, can you hear me? Hello, uh, yeah. hello, anybody? Yeah, now there? I can. Uh, don't move too much. If you move too much, your pixels get all diluted. <laughs> so steady, steady. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And when you start laughing, you don't stop. This is one of your memories. No. Okay, I'm being quiet. No, 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 it's fine. No, no, it's fun to have laugh. Laughter is good. Yeah. Where would we be in life without a laugh in our lives? Germany. <laughs> So, so don't, don't try those tricks because if I start, I'm not going to stop. You're going to have a... I know, I know. I'll stop. I shall stop. I shall stop. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, which genre of films are appreciated by yeah. directors and the people of the industry? And in which genre can more money be minted? That's what they're asking. <laughs> <laughs> minted. I, he's a Turk for sure, man. Uh, well, there is no specific thing, but I've seen comedies and horrors are are uh, are are massy. They they not massy, but they tend to because of what happens is uh, you can play around with it. You don't have to get it spot on. If, but of course, comedy is very difficult. You to get a good script. However, it works. What I'm trying to say, comedy and horror is are a safer bet. But there is no such fixed logic. I mean, there is no such thing. I mean, Patal looks not comedy or horror, but it's a brilliant thing. So I think anything that you make well works. Yeah. But genre wise, okay. I am particularly. I'm particularly fond of murder mysteries and thrillers. So that's my thing. But I like satires as well, like I said. So yeah. it depends on what you like. Anything works as long as you like it. Yeah. If you like slow dramas and heart wrenching films, make it, it'll work. But make it well. Village Rockstar is such. I mean, it's heart wrenching, but it's beautiful. It works. Yeah. 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 So even, even for local kung fu, now this is another question. Yeah. Local I like, I like, I'm a big fan of Kenny Basamatari. Uh, Big yes, I love, I love, yeah, I love, yeah. the, I love, I love this. economics, right? Yeah. So uh, there's this question. Local Kung Fu is a movie loved by people of all age groups. But what is it from a director's yes. perspective that you think might have yes. been missed? That might have been missed from a director's perspective? Oh. Ah, might have been missed. That's interesting. Well, see, it's a shoestring budget production. So you really can't look at the technicals and you have to give him also the fact that it was in the, especially in the first part, I'm not sure about the budget, but I'm assuming it was really shoestring, but he did a really good job in what he did in that budget. So you have to give him the credit. You've got to give a devil its due credit. And that I'm always saying that if you know your economics, he knew what he's going to do with it. He sort of made it and got it right. Like whether it was the sales plan, whether it was the festival, whether it was the distribution, whether it was internet. 
if you get your act right, I don't think it really needs any change. No, I don't think so. It's pretty well done for what it was aiming to do. So at least from my point of view. If you ask me what I would like to change about my own films, there are tons of things I can say. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was a very diplomatic um, answer. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> okay, there's this other question that they're asking. Yes. What training does one need to make an absolutely basic movie? Absolutely basic. Suppose you made one oh. movie on your mobile and maybe yeah, just... Yeah, yeah. So I have no training, right? I had no training. So okay. uh, absolutely basic. Uh, can I say, just go to YouTube and type filmmaking basic. YouTube is your best film school. I'm being honest. You can learn even in an advanced level. I mean, I've met editors. There are editors who work for me. Who, are, who have gone through, you? they've learned their craft through YouTube. It's that good. You don't need any school anymore. YouTube's there, free education. Go ahead, learn. But it's up to you to filter it because there's a lot of crap also. You just got to use your common sense. Okay, this is bad. I don't need this. Use your common sense. Film courage. Honestly, if you want to write well, go to Film Courage. I, I, I subscribe to Film Courage and I have brilliant, brilliant, brilliant podcast or videos or whatever. Brilliant. So there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. YouTube, that's it. That's all you need. And, and so then go ahead and make it. Yeah, go ahead and make it. I think that's that's the mm. mantra that one, these kids should follow. Mm. You know, they should go yes. ahead and make what they want. And uh, at least... They, if the, you fear the, failure, if you fear failure, you'll never taste success. Wow. Major quote. Yes. Wow. Wow. That's good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all film courage stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, get that nice. and tell you. So, so what would you what would you suggest? I mean, a little while, while ago, you were talking about finances and how this entire yes. kufu, this, uh, uh, this, uh, this particular film, local kufu, was yeah. made on a shoestring budget, yes. and yeah. he actually, you know, I'm was thinking was, yeah. on how to do the second one. He's now looking for finances, and you know, he's saying that okay, yeah, it's well, he's gone a route done. where it's yeah, he's gone crowdfunding, and and I think when you build a base and when you have a audience base as well as a reputation. When you build a brand, you'll find collaborators. That's what happened with me. I started making my own films on my own because you know I was old enough to have my own money. So I sort of made it and I made sure I didn't uh, spend too much. And the whole idea was to prove a point that you can make uh, a, a cost-effective film, if, if, if I may say so. So what happened is then you start people who will start trusting you with their money. It's a slow process. It, it takes time, unfortunately. It does take time. And if you really give it that uh, effort and the time, uh, people will start collaborating with you. Of course, you got to know what you're doing. That's important. The storytelling yeah, bit, the technique. Because I have never seen Rohan, who is also known as Niku mm. and Nix. You know, I have never seen him asking for money anywhere because you ex know exactly. <laughs> you, also made, yeah. you also made a film which was just for, um, I think you made it for 15,000 rupees or something. That's what, you know, you were yes, telling yes. us. Yeah. Yes. So I, 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 I have. <laughs> so the lowest that I've ever made a movie were in was Dwam, which was made in a budget of seven hundred rupees, and it, that was the dinner and a bottle of vodka for me and my actor. So it's actually cost effectively three hundred and fifty because I had half of the bottle of that alcohol and the, half of the dinner. So three hundred and fifty. I made a movie for three hundred and fifty bucks. Amazing. And it's a good movie. I'm quite proud of it. Yeah, it's a good. Please watch it, Dwam, Rohan. No, I, I will. I, like I will. It. Go to YouTube tonight yeah. and say, I'm going to watch it. Seriously, yeah. that's it. Yeah. I'm, I'm very personal. Wow. All my nightmares. Yeah. You, you'll, know, you'll psychoanalyze me. you know what I'm all about. I've, I've got all my warped dreams in my nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> all my movies reflect I, me. Yeah. No, come on. Now, Nico, I'll tell you one thing. I'll never be judgmental about yeah. you. I've known you in and out. I've worked on two projects with you. I yeah, remember I'm, I did one, one particular. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, what was this movie to, uh, you? what was the Robert, movie Robert, I, Robert, 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 what was can you hear me now yeah yes I what, can. what was the movie that I did with you there was a there was a short film I did with you it was I, I, I oh Alcoholics Anonymous that was the first yes, film yeah the first movie so you were a part of my first film yes, yes Alcoholics yes. Anonymous and you played the wife you played the wife's yes. character we didn't have a name it was just the wife and yeah, so Alcoholics Anonymous was my, it was my first project and I had no clue. There were like 13 actors. I shot it over a period of six months. 
the budget was slightly high for its for, for my first film because I got all the you know I dubbed it and I got uh, a, 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 a DOP who was my cousin with a camera and everything and then yeah I spent around thirty forty thousand on it my first film and then I really learned because you know it, you've got to get it's all in the script. And that was an improvised film. I mean, you remember, right? I didn't have a script. I just said, these are the scene and then you can just say whatever you feel like. But it came through. There was a film that came out, which was very personal. And I'll, most people are very embarrassed about their first project. I'm totally not. I'm very proud of it. I thought I got it right. <laughs> I'm still very proud of it. Yeah. Um, and that's okay. what. And after that, I got my economics right. Because in that one, I wasn't really calculating. I just wanted to go ahead and make a film. By the next one, I started putting my budget in place. So Objects in the Mirror came across, which I sort of made with Jeffrey Archer's story. And that I made it in 8,000 rupees and in a Sony A7 III or whatever. And I made it, yeah, properly and it got awards. It, yeah, it went places. It's still one of my uh, uh, acclaimed films. Yeah, not acclaimed, but the liked films. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Acclaimed like, films. I'll, I'll repeat that. So that it's going to be acclaimed wow. and it's going to be viral and it's going to be loved by everybody. Of course. Well, yes. I'm sure one fine day people will see them. They'll say, hey, man, you ought to make movies. Huh? That is like, uh, bugger you. Uh, uh. So, so the mm. thing that I got from you, the kind of the message that I got from you is that, you know, you just got to go do it. Don't be scared. And uh, don't be scared of anything at all. And just, just do it. That's it. I'm not, I'm not yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Nike true, here. True. But then I'm going to say that uh, just go do it. But uh, it's, it's yeah. been really, really fun talking to you. And uh, I'm going to ask everyone to subscribe to your channel. I know you're not getting any payment from YouTube. Neither am I. So, but we, we still love our work. <laughs> no, no, no. no. At, least, at least they are you. putting us out there. Yeah, yes. at least they are putting us out there. So, thanks to YouTube. No harm. Uh, to yes. Me. And at the end of the day, yeah. Yeah. Awareness. YouTube. And then, and then, uh, I'm going to give you a uh, before we end a very very quick you know it's this is a yes. uh, these are questions which you need to just answer maybe um, in one word we're going to do a fun thing oh okay, uh, okay. rapid okay. fire with buffer we shall call it rapid fire with buffer oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not that rapid yeah, yeah. okay yeah. okay yeah. who's your favorite director Martin Scorsese And we stopped. Rohan, Hello. favorite director? Yes, I, can hear I didn't you. hear you. Uh, yeah, yes. Martin Scorsese, uh, all time. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Your, uh, Rohan, uh, Rohan Kumar Das's favorite book? Book? Uh, has to be a Jeffrey Archer book. So I am going to say Quiver Full of Arrows, yeah. The short book, yeah, the short story. Okay. Yeah. And Rohan Kumar Das's favorite play? Play? Play. Uh, Someone uh, else? So I have play? To yeah, yeah, no, no, no. And I have not watched too many plays, to be honest. But recently, uh, I watched a very funny comedy in ITA, which was in, uh, uh, I forgot the name though. It was about uh, Rahul Gandhi and Modi and all that. I can't remember the name. It was really funny, but I can't remember the name. I'm bad with names, okay. I forget. Okay, but it's it okay. The do, you, do you remember? I think you were there because I remember seeing you. It was the one with uh, that comedy satire about political satire. No, you missed it. No, I missed it. I missed that, it. I, I really enjoyed it. I, I can't remember the name though. I forgot. Okay. And uh, Rohan Kumar Das's favorite, favorite movie. Favorite movie. Oh, favorite movie. Yeah. Uh, can I name two? <laughs> or actually <laughs> one. One, no, one. One, one. No, please, okay. two. Two. Oh, two, two. Okay. Shawshank two. Redemption and Usual Suspects. Polar opposites. Okay. okay. All right. And uh, your favorite actor, apart from yourself, because you are my favorite actor. No, 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 no. I, 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 I hate my acting. I, I, can, can I just say something acting. here? Because when I worked for Murder Game, you were directing yeah. and you were acting at the same time. I still remember the kind of pressure you went through because you yeah, had was, to. Yeah, yeah. Everything was in order. <laughs> my pressure was, yeah. Also oh, okay. say Sorry. that yeah. your, your dialogues were. Yeah. You, you yeah. Be, speak your dialogues well as well. Uh, so I was kind of, true, true, true. I said, this true, guy true. is like, you know, taking, I would have yeah. never taken all that pressure. I would, <laughs> acting is acting, uh, yeah, I was, directing, yeah. but you were doing two things at the same time. But, you know, I, I, I did, of course, of course, in Murder Game, that role was so small that nobody wanted to do it, which is, I end up doing roles that nobody does. So that's how I end up acting. And, but otherwise, uh, if I, uh, if you give me a choice, I would rather not act, honestly. But if I do, I, I have to enjoy the process. Which is by the character that uh, that I'm playing. So, Murder Game, I like Tiwari. That unscrupulous lawyer okay. was fun. 
yeah oh yeah. okay and uh, yeah your okay you never said about your favorite actor favorite actor, actor daniel day lewis daniel day lewis all right all right so you we you sent me another video and uh, that video was mm -hmm. on uh, a, a play that you had directed would, would, would you want to show show that yes, video True and false? Yeah, if you can. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, true and false was the one which we had done in 2019, I suppose, December, ITA. So I've given you the highlight. As long as it doesn't cut us off and then we get lost no, again. In, since, we're since we're coming to the, all, the, end. Uh, to the end of our program, so, so I want to show that. Yeah. I want to show people that and it's, it's very, very interesting. So I want to show that. Uh, if Ripjoti can Great. show us that video. Yeah, uh, just before you do, what I want to like to yeah. say. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's one of the things which was in my head for a long, long time. And finally, it was produced by Chumki for her late husband, Bob Borua, who was a dear friend of ours, who was supposed to produce it, but then he passed okay. away. And then she finally took it up and made it. So I'm very thankful to Chumki for doing that. And it's Chumki, very... Chumki, yeah, comes up to you. Yeah. Comes up to you. Yeah. Great, yeah. So, this girl, she does amazing yeah, work. Chumki's been doing great I'm, work. Yeah, yeah. Indebted to her, totally. Totally. So I think we are going Thank to you, thank you so much. Oh, you know, I've been doing this show for the past 12 years now. There you go. And it's safe to say that in all these years, and of all the audiences that I've had in that time, you are definitely the most recent. I'm joking. I'm joking. You I understand you're a school teacher, Irfan. False. I'm a doctor. Oh, a doctor. Well, I've had this tight pain in my left arm for a while now, Irfan. I wonder if you could take a look at it after the show. <laughs> Mary, we know Scots, was 14 when she married for the first time. Oh, Sandra. False. She was 16. Wow, well, that is correct. Five points. Can, can I just say that? This is the first time Mira's ever been beaten to the first question. Well done, Sandra. Well, so am I, Sandra. In fact, why don't you try me out? Name a country. Go ahead. Any country. Uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, that would be capital T. Just kidding, just kidding. So about that 10 point gallon, Sandra. Thank you so much and welcome back to True and False. Sandra's back in the final spot and has gone through a hell of a lot to get here. Wow. That was that was beautiful. You know, I would have loved to see it yeah. uh, in the in the I mean, you should you should actually stage these plays again. You should really stage these plays again. Uh, th th this was like a biggish production, so it'll be really hard to do again. However, we were trying to, okay. but then this lockdown happened. So yeah, we couldn't do it. We were planning to get, go with it, travel with it to Oil India and all, but it never happened. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Rohan, I'd like know? to ask you one thing. See, uh, I love... Uh, yeah. right? Wait, your voice you is me? gone. Can you hear cracking me? Cracking big time. Can you hear Shobha, me now? Shobha. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but it's like breaking up. Wait one second, huh? Hello? Let's take a breath. <sighs> Internet, calm down. And you're frozen. I'm frozen. <laughs> frozen. Yes. But I can okay. hear you. You can hear me? So, can... so I wanted yeah. to ask so ask you, me the question. I wanted to ask you that, you know, your lights, your sound, your music is so perfect. Ah. It production i mean do uh, i'm more interested in the music do you actually produce music for everything like you know are you actually uh, make your <laughs> own music right? uh, well now i've started i'm going to be honest we, we've started doing it now because can you hear me yeah yeah yes i can hear you i can hear you so for me, I'm going to be honest that for me, music's a very important part of storytelling. Most people, uh, yeah, I mean, most people also agree to that. However, there are stories which can be told without background music, but I love the use of music in my storytelling. So whether it's plays, films, whatever I do, I really focus on the music a lot and I prepare a lot for the music. I have my samples, my guide tracks, and I, I give a lot of research into the music that I use. So yeah, music, I try and get the music right. That's, it's an effort. It doesn't happen automatically. Yeah. And I, 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 for me, the three things in my life are music, magic, and movies. So these three, three things. <laughs> no, the other thing I was, I was really fascinated by, there's all this movie yeah. making on Majot. I remember you yeah. had Baker Street. 
Baker Street. Oh, yes. and Baker, yeah. Wow. I yeah. have to talk about mm. that because mm. you had a huge collection mm. of videos. Those no, CDs. That's so, <laughs> yes. I, so, to, I remember I went into I, your. I'll tell your, you. Uh, yes. Cafe. Yeah. Then, In fact, Mobin used to come, come quite often as well. Yeah. Yes. And then I used to go, uh, I used to go into uh, your, your uh, thing, you know, into that little parlor. Yeah. And yeah. I used to, yeah. it, you know, used to have the this food, huge yeah. collection. Yeah. Used to have this huge true, collection. True. So uh, this is how it started. I'll tell you huh? quickly. I'll try make it as sh short as possible. So Baker Street was basically we had this place which I took up, and then we had this cook. So we started with these cakes and bakes, and I had around 500 movies which I had collected over a period of uh, around uh, during my college days. So I had collected that. So I thought let me just start off with a video parlor without any sleazy stuff. So it was good English and some of the Hindi films. And from there, it sort of uh, sky, uh, not skyrocketed, it sort of, what's, what was that called? It gathered momentum and I ended up with a huge clientele. My video business was doing great till Torrents came. <laughs> and uh, I have ended up with a collection of around 7,000 movies, which is all mine now. And it's my reference. I learned my movies from movies, which was called wow. Video Option. Yeah, Video Options. I still remember that little thing. Lovely. So my, uh, I think food business... Yeah, I was running the food business because I wanted to run the video business. After the video sort of shut down because of downloads and torrents, I lost interest in then Baker Street also eventually shut down in 2017. Because yeah, yeah. food I like to eat, selling forget. It. I, I remember 2017. I was very I was yeah. the saddest person because I used to love your coffee and your uh, whatever was put up there, and I used to be True. a great foodie. There was, at your yeah, there was a, there was a cult following. There was a weird cult <laughs> following. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, it you know when you were talking about much, yeah. you were talking about my husband Mubin. Yes. If you remember, yes. uh, he was yes. the first one. Actually, I know you for yes. quite some time. Yes. But let me, tell you, let me hear it <laughs> yeah. from me. Yeah. Hear it from me yeah. because uh, yes. we need to know that this person called Mr. Rohan Das mm. has got an excellent voice, and Mubin wanted a voice over oh. for his documentary. Or the of the Eastern Clouds. Brew yes, of the Eastern Clouds. Yeah, I remember. Yes. 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 And so if anyone is listening, please go into my channel and listen to is Rohan Kumar Das's voice because it's there. Yes, it's you there. Know the uncanny thing is I have never heard it. I've never heard the final product. I would like to go and see it because I've never yes. heard it. And... Hmm. Yeah, it tell me. Oh, so they're very interesting trivia. I remember Mobin after this is how many years back was this? Around eight years, ten years? I can't this, remember. Uh, this was in two thousand seven, I think. Seven. Two thousand seven. Wow. Yeah. Okay, twelve years back, right? If my math is correct, twelve thirteen years back. So what happened was Mobin. I, he had heard in bandstand where I was doing this radio thing around two three episodes, and then you sort of suggested my name. I went across, and then Mobin asked me like. So why don't you do that? I said, no, I want to make films. <laughs> I remember telling him then also, I want to make a films. And Mobin was very supportive. He said, no, no, you'll make a good producer. You, you got the thing, knack for it. I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. Of her. Yeah. So yeah, he didn't see the director in me, but producer, but no harm. I don't mind being a producer. Also. No harm, yeah. <laughs> as long as I'm making movies. So, but you're a director, entrepreneur, so many things, you know, and you're a magician. Well, There's so many things. And you are uh, what I know you as a very good father. I know you because you have got this little kiddo who's grown up, all grown that's up my, now. When that's my best kid. kid. That's yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. And when we met him, he was a little toddler. And, yes. when, uh, and now he's grown up. Say. So now, I can now he's also vouch that in, apart from being the best director, apart from being a fantastic entrepreneur, apart from being a f superb magician, you are also the best father hmm. and uh, the best human being. That's the best compliment. Thank you. Seriously. No, because I have seen how you've taken care in between all the, uh, you know, the, those rehearsals, little baby would come mm. crying to you. Rian would yeah, come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, would, he, would, he would come crying to you and you it's would stop everything. And we would stop. Yeah, yeah. Because we had that deep respect <laughs> for you that, you know, he now needs to attend to his son. Because that time you know? I just gone single and I was just raising him. Yeah, which is beautiful. Yes, yeah. but that, that was so yeah, beautiful. Enjoy. That is so beautiful. I mean, I love seeing that part of you. And then when you talk about your son also, you talk about him with so much passion. Even when I was talking to you the other day over the phone and you said, oh, he's a good man now. He talks man to man, you know. So that was... Oh, uh, well, full man to man, yeah. Sarcastic. Uh, full yeah. Oh, very nice, very nice. Yeah, I'd love I love to see him, you know, all grown up. And yeah, interested. yeah. We must catch up when this all this crap is over. Yeah, yeah, we must. 
but not but coffee and all la i'll not coffee i'll have a, you have coffee you have coffee i'll have a drink yeah yeah uh. <laughs> like your mom, mom used to so yeah. oh, I thank your mom because uh, she used to cook us lovely food and every time we yeah. used to go no, for no, 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 I must correct you. No, no, she never cooked. She only supervises. Now she's cooking because lockdown, there's nobody. So first time in her life she's cooking. But otherwise she supervises. I also don't cook. She also doesn't cook. We don't like the kitchen. Yeah. You're very, okay. But, uh, but even the supervision was very good. I must thank her for yeah, serving so, her. I get my organizing skills from my mother. That's true. Business skills from my father, a little bit, not much, but yeah. But yeah, the organizing skills from my mother. She's very organized, Torian. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> so, 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 Niku, Rohan, whatever we call yes. you, Nick, we uh, love yeah. you so much. Thank you for coming to my show, Conversations with Tidhar. You made this absolutely so Thank much you fun, you know. I, I never thought I would have so much fun with you, but you know, I, it was my mistake. <laughs> Shouldn't be thinking like that because yeah. Rohan Das is full of fun. He's full of laughter. He's full of joy all the time. Yeah, like something serious true, true. because I have never seen you in a serious mood ever. Even when you are in the worst of your yeah, well, that is when I'm... <laughs> yeah. And you know, thank you so I, I, much. That's so days, but that's when I'm alone. Yeah. <laughs> But around you, I don't think anybody can be serious around you, Tina. <laughs> the credit goes to you. Uh, has any, is anybody serious around you? Huh? <laughs> I don't think so. I've never seen anybody serious around you. You, you. No, my husband is. Who is very serious around me? So I was telling him that just smile. So it will go around. Yeah. Husband and wife become like brothers and sisters. To open it, after a few <laughs> years, yeah, yeah. That's what I know. Sibling rivalry started. <laughs> yeah, open it. <laughs> good, good. It was such a fun session. Seriously, I've had so much fun it with you was, today. And totally uh, in the, in the middle of this really lockdown, was this was one hour well spent. I must say that. In between this one hour of my lockdown boring days, great time. Thank you so much, Tina. It was such a it's, pleasure talking to you. Man. And we have to make that horror thing that we were talking about. You know? Yes, and yes. That is, and don't, don't don't spill the beans before before working. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, you, 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 you are the producer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally, totally. So yeah, we are on, man. We're on, totally. Yeah. Like this, we'll, do it. we'll do it. <laughs> Very, talk like an Egyptian at all. <laughs> yeah. So let me wave all to right. you from the island. I'm going to wave at you from my island, and I'm going to say bye, bye. See you. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. See you and see you viewers. Thank you so much. See you viewers. See you viewers. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.